Finding out of the blue corner. Ему 30 девять лет. Рост 187 сантиметров. Вес 93,25 килограмма. Профессиональный рекорд 18 побед, 8 поражений и 8 бразильская чертица. Лейт и джентльмен, он 39 лет, стендинг 187 см, официальный вес 93,25 кг. А бразильский чертица специалист с профессиональным рекордом 18 победов и 8 поражений, представляющий фортализм Сауэра Бразилии, интродюсер Карлос Кашахау. He was a very cross of the blue, fighting out of the red car. By suit, 29 years. Rose, 182 centimeters. Bears, 93 and a half kilograms. Professional record, 15 wins, 6 losses, and 8 wins. Ladies and gentlemen, he's 29 years old. Standing 182 centimeters tall. Official weight, 93.5 kilos. As a wrestler, with professional record, 18 fighting victories and 6 defeats. Дамы и господа, из Екатеринбурга, Россия, Фатон Але Альфейдиче. And your referee in charge, Lukas Bozowski. Lukas Bozowski will take charge of this light heavyweight contest. We look there, 10 years the elder is the Brazilian Carlos Eduardo. He also has the height and reach advantage. But Oleg on that four-fight win streak. Carlos Eduardo in the blue corner. Oleg, Olen, Ichev in the red corner. Me, Brian Lacey, alongside Brad. One punch, pick it, calling the action here in Sochi. ACA one, two, five. I've got to say, Brad, that was a very emotional Carlos Eduardo, even on the walkout, which we, we were accustomed to seeing, but even when he was having his name called certainly looks like yeah. you've got to find yourself in a bit of a tricky situation you're 39 years of age you know you, you're not in your twilight years and such you know like, so you're like on a free fight losers grid so, i mean this guy's going to mean a lot to him you know, like you know i will say he's coming the best shape i've seen him just look at that midriff he's carrying a lot le less fat around that oh he's got trouble with the straight oh and this is where Oleg is dangerous, but he's now playing with fire because high-level Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu black belt is uh, Carlos Eduardo. Just beautiful. I went, went for a deep, deep, deep single there, uh, roll it around, get on top. I think it was like, flash knocked down. With, I believe it was a jab. Yeah, I think a jab. Olenichev caught him as he came in with that straight. He's done a great job here to turn it around. He's got to be careful. The ball flies here. Get maybe getting swept. You got to think that he's got. Good base here, he's doing a good job. He's trying to pass the knee, push the knee down to a pass the half guard. Oh, like done a good job of trying to build some frames here. Maybe going back to full guard, but at the moment he's still got one butterfly. Yeah, the colors of Wado are so strong. This is his base jiu jitsu, is how he started. Oh, nice hammer fist coming down. Well, we talked about the top game but for my leg, but you know, Carlos Eduardo has a fantastic top game. Nine of his 15 victories finishes, sorry, uh, by submission, six knockouts. And also, we, we, we talked about it, Oleg coming up a weight. Oh, he's got his back taken. This is not a great spot. Carlos is a, a true light heavyweight. And Oleg is now someone who's moved up from that middleweight division, that huge jump in weight classes. He's now carrying the full weight of this Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu black belt on his back. He's got to try and maybe pull up one of the, one of the hooks while Chuck protecting his chin, just trying to get Carlos to slide off. He's doing the right thing here, like, you know, stand up, putting the weight off against the cage. Now he always dipped down, but then oh, it, instantly that threat of the hand coming under the chin. Yeah, as well as Carlos. Carlos. You've got to do it. You've got to be careful getting the body triangled here. Great start here from Carlos Eduardo. Got dropped, but for on the mat, showing what class he's got in that position. Yeah, Carlos now been a bit, a bit uncomfortable. Trying to, like, trying, trying to shrug him off. At the moment, you'll think this is early within the fight. They're not that sweaty as well, Carlos. Yeah. Oh, he's always getting a bit mean with this, I feel. Oh, 
Okay, in the corner, right next to us. Trying to talk Carlos through this. Oh, he might have shrugged him off. Got to be careful with the arm now. He's pulled it out. Look at that from Oleg. Big shots, making. I'm sure that early on, though, how Carlos put himself for a bad position at the moment. Now he's going into guard, but Oleg did a great job. Not just to, 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 to get um, Carlos to it off him, but straight away unloaded with some punches. And, and he, was, he was very aware of that armbar as Carlos fell off. Yeah, so he wise to have pulled it straight out. Brad, would you look for him to separate from here now? I mean, he's tasted some of the jujitsu, the grappling. Yeah, they stiffed the stars. I mean, yeah. you've seen how, how strong Oleg is on top. He's just trying to wear down Carlos. Heavy. On that wrist now. Head position, trying to reap that leg back, Brad. You see with both of these sort of styles, and don't mind being on the floor, but it, it's going to be a battle who's on top. Good round of here. 30 seconds left, and Carlos said, while they're looking to control that wrist, maybe look for a triangle. A smile from the Brazilian on his back. Yeah, here from his quarantine uh, attack. Only 18 seconds left. It'll be hard to maybe pull off this mission here. This late in the round. Interesting one to score though, Brad, because the back that well, first of all, Carlos gets dropped by the jab. Then he manages to get the uh, the back threatening with chokes up against the cage. And now it is ended with Oleg in the uh, the top position. <laughs> Interesting indeed, Eduardo going back to his school. Yeah, well, yeah, it was a very interesting round score. If I was, you know, if someone said I had to go one way, I would say Oleg then, obviously, with the, with the initial drop of the jab and then how he's finished with that round on top and some good ground to pound. And then you cut to the other side, Oleg. Olenichev, what do you want to see from him? Just keep it standing. Well, Mike, there's the jab. Look how straight and true that is. This is a stiff jab caught Eduardo coming in. Here you see again, he, as he's bomb, bomb, good stiff jab, flash knockdown. But Carlos Wilder will cover really well when he went to a deep half single here and now to switch it around and he was on top for a long period of time. Took the back, fell off, went for the arm bar, which is textbook sort of stuff, but Oleg very aware, got his arm free and he ended around the top, landing out, fishing out some good ground and pound. <laughs> oh, Lenny Chef's corner playing some nice tricks there to uh, get him a few extra seconds breath. And you'll see in the corner there of Oleg, Oleg Chef, Vanir Galaev, an absolute veteran of Russian MMA, a legend. Again, Carlos Eduardo in the blue corner. Oleg Olenichev in the red. Oh. The guys from such heat. Nice outside leg hit from Carlos. Oh. Nice left hook. Oh. You saw that he, he was a little bit stunned when that left hook as well, but he's so dangerous as Oleg came in. He, he, he threw some massive shots. Oleg done the right thing here, closing the distance now. Now, dangerous Carlos can be even when he's hurt. Testing each other's strength against the cage. Carlos finds an exit. Ooh. Oleg looking a little tired yeah. with those shots. That was a very labored spinning attack. Also, not just a labored attack, it's a very. Oh. Both connected, Oleg wobbles. Yeah, I don't know if it's a little slip or, or his leg actually buckled a bit, done a little bit of the funky chicken dance. Well, he said, you know as well as anyone, you can tell your fighter when you go see them in between rounds, and it was it was Oleg's corner trying to buy a few extra seconds. And One of the corner, Carlos up. now is finding his distance, actually the least punches he's throwing hard, but they're actually landing as well. <laughs> Oh, that left hook just cliffed the chin of Eduardo. How did he stay standing? Yeah, I mean, Woo! the way these guys are going, one of these men <laughs> and someone's dropping. Wow, it has been a real test of durability, guile and strength. This is the exciting thing about this all way class. Both, both have one punch knockout power. And they're both willing to stand there and trade. Yeah, but look, 
Berg is definitely looking tired. There's less efficiency, but he's connected with that right hand again. Wow. Now pushing against Eduardo, pushes him off. I'm out of breath just watching yeah. this one. <laughs> Both of them trying hard and also, I see both of them now a little bit laboring with their punches, but both of them are kind of also laboring with their movements, so, yeah. so they're not moving as well, and they're both <laughs> landing. <laughs> oh, a bit of a cup kick, Carlos said, continue. Maybe a wise decision, not wanting to let Oleg get a few extra breaths. Oh, look at that looping shot. Yeah, to be fair, Oleg did telegraph that a little bit. Yeah. That right from here. But let's not take away the great timing there by Carlos. A very important takedown within this round. Yep, yep. Two minutes and in the timing. center of the cage as well, Brad. Carlos Eduardo has never been submitted in his career. Yeah, and also this sort of weight class, it's not easy for someone as big as these guys just to scramble back to their feet. Trying to throw the legs bar, yeah. I believe. Very dangerous, but don't want to make a quick bit of space. Not able to use this to get back to his feet. Lucas might do the work for him. Oh, oh he got caught with the up kick as he came in. Did you see that? Just got caught. Not full connection or full extension, but certainly the heel connected with the chin of Eduardo as he looked at. Jumping. Oh, well. well to get round to the back here. Oleg now trying to get to that cage to try and use that cage to get back up. Two hooks in now. Can he get flattened out? Carlos flattened him out. Oh, this would be a huge victory if Carlos oh. Eduardo can derail. It's been a devastating. Oh, Lenachev. He's got to be careful. Give me the too arm. greedy. Oh. Yeah, in my eyes, you want to be too greedy for the arm on his former position. And it's such a close sort of fight, close round. His little decisions have that cost you. You see the sweat playing a little bit as well, as slippery. Now Oleg on top. Yeah, tactically for me, that, that wasn't a wise move going for the armbar. Great if it pulls up, if not, you, you lose the lose position and the middle left of that round in a close round. Yet again, we saw it, he was in such a good position within the first round and he lost it at the end. And he's done the same in this round here. Makes it very hard and interesting to score. 15 seconds left. You have to understand. Oh, watch the back of the head. The referee has warned him. Hammer fist coming down. Oh, again, the referee warning about the back of the head. Yeah. I think uh, this is what you do, you understand it. <laughs> Look at the respect yeah. between that. Deep breaths. This is not like done by copy stats, it's done by judges' eyes. And, and sometimes, as a human, you kind of forget what happens in the first part of the round and you remember what happens at the end. And at the end of both of those rounds, it was Oleg left in the dominant position on top. But if you break down the round individually, Carlos Iwode had some fantastic work done within those rounds. And then there was moments where Oleg looked to be fading. The takedown in particular. Oleg has just seemed to be throwing one shot, big telegraph shots, and the experience of Eduardo to take him down using that, there we go, that yeah. momentum to his advantage in the center of the cage. That was very impressive indeed. But then you have a look at here, it's the end of the round that sometimes makes a difference. Two rounds now, would I say back and forth, what a contest we have here. Yeah, again, it could be this third and final round. Who dig deep? Who wants it more? Third. Can yeah. someone finish this fight so we don't go to the judges' scorecards? Yeah, the referee just talking to Oleg. He's warning about those shots to the back of the head. Round three on the way here. Oh, nice respect, <laughs> Carlos Eduardo versus Oleg Olenichev. Yeah. Do you want just a hug? Do you want a proper hug? Yeah, it goes, it also, I think he's 10 years the older as well, so he's given him a lot of like, youth here as well. I know like Oleg is 29 years of age, 
but for me, in this sort of weight class, that, that, that's still a youngster. Yeah, you, you, you don't, you're prime to come. Yeah, you don't sign, kind of peak into your, your mid 30s. Oh, as far as Ole's corner, what do you think they'll be looking for? Instant clinch there once they got some contact. Yeah. Just, I mean, just try and get on top. But he hasn't really shot for a takedown, to be honest. The only time he's got on top is when there's been a bit of a scramble. Let's once again give a shout out to the work that Oleg does outside of the cage. So, again, they find that growth on his arm. Had that removed during that time, during that treatment. He met a lot of people suffering from cancer, suffering, going through treatment. And so he's dedicated a lot of his time outside the cage to working with young people, working with charities. And that's fantastic. Yeah, that's great. Right. That's, uh, I mean, it's very good that when a lot of people use this sort of line by not only to feed their families, but to feed other families and to help other people in, in their positions. Oh. 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 Sort of land there, you know, on the back of the head. Coming to the last three minutes of his final, final round. Both. A little bit laboured, but you've got to think it's one bit of magic by one of them. Yeah, again, <laughs> close rounds, first one and two. Deep breaths by Carlos. <laughs> Round one, you had Oleg <laughs> dropping Carlos then. Carlos managing to get the back. Then it being reversed, and Oleg ended on top. Round two, Oleg came out swinging, got taken down. And then he finished on top, and now round three, all to play for, and they are really swinging for those fences, Brad. Yeah, but that's it, they're both swinging, they're not really landing, they're both missing by quite a bit. They need something, in my eyes, they need to take a breath and try and calculate the strikes and start to land. Good jab there, stiff jab there. But Oleg. Oleg looking to that time to take down. Yeah, it's the first take down the attempt by Oleg. Oh, switch attempt there from Eduardo does enough. Oleg looks up at the clock, two minutes, five seconds. Now Eduardo shows how it's done in the centre of the cage again, Brad. Yes, yeah, yeah, very, very similar to, to, to the one in the second round. Let's see, but now if he doesn't do anything silly and lose position, because like I say, the same sort of time within the round, but he ended the round in a bad position. He needs to take down, can, can he get? Submission. Look for the Kimura there with that outside arm, that left arm of Oleg. That's the thing though with, with Carlos, he's not just happy with the position, he's, he's always looking to, to finish the fight. That's what makes him so exciting to watch. But sometimes to his you know, downfall, lose positions. This is such a hard sport, Brad. I mean, you know that as well as anybody that's, that's competed within the cage because for Eduardo. You look at his last fight, so close. Even the fight against Corey Hendricks, it wasn't a, a whitewash with Hendricks walking straight through him. But then you look at this one as well. Again, it's another close fight. But on the flip side, you've got the other, the rise of someone like Oleg Olenichev on a four-fight win streak. And this being so close, it's, it's disappointing to see a loser within these. And yeah. It's always that cliche. But these sort of fights, when you see just how hard they're both fighting for this victory, is uh, is a real example of that. Yeah, you don't, yeah, you really that. You don't, you don't want to see it go to the judges because you know someone's going to be definitely upset. This is a very close fight yet again. Yeah, again, same as his last fight. I kind of had him going into the last round of round of peace. Whoever wins this round, and, and for me, Carlos is on top. Doing well. It's interesting because it was Oleg that looked for this position. He went for the takedown, but he timed the, 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 the strike by um, Carlos, but he didn't really get a good connection. Then you look on the flip side, two minutes later, oh, less than two minutes, ten seconds later, Carlos times the strike. Ten seconds. He may go for another arm oh, bar. He's looking for the arm bar to finish. Carlos Eduardo here. Can he prize the arm of Oleg Olenichev? Before the oh, yeah. that's more just to look, look good towards the end of the round. And yeah, that's a fantastic fight by these two guys. That is so hard to call. Both fighters left it all in there. Both fighters tested each other supremely with their skills, with their heart, with their will. My goodness. For the judges. The judges have the work to do now. Yeah, 
Yeah, you saw here, Carlos here, but this is where they're a little bit more tired and the boat is swinging hard. And this is after one of the takedowns. Beautiful elbow. I actually didn't see that where it was live, but that was a lovely elbow, elbow landed there on the floor. You saw this armbar attempt right at the end. Time was against his side there, but it looks good yet again in the judges' scorecards. Oleg thinks he's done enough. Carlos is going to think he's done enough as well. Yeah, Oleg is a, a favourite round here, well known. Took part in the open workouts, got a good reception there. He has that fan favourite style as well. You jump back to his last fight, he's a, a devastating fighter and always brings it. Him and Carlos, what a show they put on. Yeah, win or lose, both of these, well, I say both of these fights, Oleg would definitely learn a lot from this competition. When you when you could fight someone experienced like Carlos, it's gonna, you're gonna learn a lot from these, these short positions. Someone's been in there that much within the game. Another close, close fight. But we have the scores in. Let's make it official. Дамы и господа, по завершении боя обратимся к судейским запискам. Ladies and gentlemen, after the end of action, we go to the Georgia scorecards. Итак, 29-28, to 28, Eduardo. 29-28, Aleniciev. 29-28, Eduardo. 29, 28, 29, 28, Aleniciev. И 29, 28, and 29 to 28. Ladies and gentlemen, дамы и господа, раздельным решением судей победу одержал your winner by split decision, Олег Aleniciev. Россия и аплодисменты его сопернику Карлосу Эдуарду. Ваши аплодисменты спортсменам!